Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So I actually have a very special video for you guys. I'm with Winged Espion. He has a really, really cool thing he wants to show you guys. Hi, I'm Winged Espion, and I've got a full Nat 2 Golems B10 team here. Oh man, we've been uh, we've been waiting quite a while to, to do this video. Um, because it was free gem removal yesterday, he was actually able to gem up his team and make this video for you guys. So we're just going to run this through and uh, take a look at what it can do. Man, that scroll does quite a lot of damage. Uh, the, the leader? Like, the, uh, yeah, the, the leader squirrel's gems are pretty insane. I see something like hitting for like 9k a hit. Are, are wood squirrels attackers? I can't remember. Yeah, they're attackers. I see, um, I see. Maybe it's the not variant one because... Yeah, um, that one doesn't have a crit rate gem, mm -hmm. but it's got some crit subs, so if it gets lucky and crits, it can do a lot of damage. And that, that uh, light kill of Bass taking a beating. But he's, uh, he's actually pretty tanky for Nat 2. Yeah, I chose Light Bat because... He was the, because uh, he was tanky, basically. <laughs> That's his only job, is to be tanky. I'm not sure, he might be one of the, the tankiest Nat 2s in the game. Or light, for, for yeah. light type, at least. I, I think he might be like the actual absolute tankiest, I'm not sure. But it, like I know his like stat distribution is like skewed to be like really tanky and do mm -hmm. no damage because he has like 1,100 or 1,300 attack or something. Well, I guess most of the time he doesn't really need to do any damage. A lot of people use him for titans for like the attack down and stuff. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's okay. I've ran this team quite a few times, and sometimes one of the squirrels dies, but it's... Yeah, it def definitely looks that fine. That doesn't make um, it fail. You're doing a lot of damage to it, so... Should be should be dead before right. before you. And, uh... Cottonade can almost, like, take the golem. I think he can actually take the, take the golem one-on-one. -on -one. Nice. Because of the sap. Yeah, so that was two minutes and fifty-five seconds. It was actually under three minutes. It's not bad. Yeah, that's one of the better run times. I think sometimes it even, if it's a bad run, it'll go up to like three hundred, three, three minutes and thirty seconds. That's so. Fine. Okay. Great. I mean, as, There's as long as you can run it, it's, it's fine. Oh, he's on, he's on yeah. Siphon. Max crit. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the crit rate gem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, it's a bit ridiculous. Nice. It's got that 19, 19 crit damage on it. Um, and it's got some other like tanky subs. And like wood squirrels are so squishy mm -hmm. that I, uh, Decided to put one HP gem on him. Oh yeah, that's true. This it's... one has a really high crit substat. It's also got flat HP. Yeah. It's also got 11% attack. And it's attack. got... Yeah. Yeah, so it was a pretty good attack. And I also, I don't have that many siphons. Man, I'm actually... So... I'm actually like, pretty I have jealous. Got... I wish I could have... I've got game. some... I've got some really good siphons, but... Mm -hmm. I don't like, and like this one, it's 20% crit and 21% defense. So I've got some really good siphons, I just don't have very many 
uh, siphons. Um, probably actually, the same boat as well. Actually, all the um, siphons I have came from B7, even though I've been farming B10 a lot. Because B10 will not drop attack siphons for me for some reason. So that's. This one's on one slot HP. Mm -hmm. I used this one because it had like a, some pretty good subs. Yeah, this one's got crit rate and crit damage as well, and attack. So it's got like every yeah. everything you need pretty much for an HP. It's offensive. Player. Yeah. Yeah. And then this is just a six star attack siphon. Yeah. It's still got 14% HP. It's not, it's not too bad. Right. But no. For normal farming, it's mm. not that great. Like, when you actually need the health, yeah. it matters. And this is just like, I think the last square attack siphon I have. When I made this team, that was like all of my attack siphons. Mm -hmm. So what, like, can you talk about the team comp for a little bit? Like what? This, yeah. I'm actually not too familiar or, with all the two star monster skills. Yeah, I'll, I'll just cover the gems on the class I, two. First. I never use them, so I forget what they have. So this is it's this one's on HP. Mm -hmm. um, this one's got a bit of resist and defense. It's an HP recovery defense. I chose this one just because the like good defensive subs and the oh, yeah. resist. Because I wanted some resists in case I got um, si silenced or to avoid getting silenced. And then this was just a HP uh, Magi gem. The subs aren't very good, but I was wanting oh, so to just that, build That's how team. you got your like bar full really fast on your healer with the Magi gem. Yep. And then we have the bat on healer. <laughs> Oh. So there are no Golub's gems on the entire team. I see, I see. Uh, this is just a defense healer gem. When I was making the team, I was just farming Colossus B1. So it was taking me forever to get good defensive... Yeah, this is uh, a lot of work put into this. You know, healer gems. <laughs> yeah, it kind of was. Although I was farming Colossus for the skill books too, mm -hmm. so that wasn't a big deal. But, and then, uh, I was, when I was making the team, I was also, like, this had 6% defense, I'm like, screw it, it's one useful sub. Yeah. It's like, the attack, the attack and crit rate don't matter for mm -hmm. this. And then this was just another, actually, this one's pretty good. It's got resist, it's not bad. Yeah. So yeah. So pretty much, oh. uh, you have the light, light um, kilobat be the solo tank. Just yeah. And then the healer gem basically. Because he's got like really, he's got really tanky stats, and yeah. the healer gems basically make him a lot more tanky. Mm -hmm. Because it's like ten percent every single turn. Yeah. So as long as you don't get one shot that's 10 percent hp since it's scaling multiplicativity with your hp gems instead mm -hmm. of like just adding more um hp or defense will yeah. give you more effective hp than like a life or protection set yeah. even after just one turn and then like from there you just keep healing so it's it makes your solo tank a lot harder to kill yeah yeah Basically, it's like multiplies your whole HP pool by another like ten percent, you know. Every turn. like ten percent, yeah. like just the like if you're go going to survive one turn. If you're surviving mm -hmm. three turns, it's like thirty yeah, percent, yeah. which is a lot. And then um, I chose the Cottonine because he's got Sap on the uh, three star skill yeah. and attack up on the five star for three turns and this like <laughs> i know people use the cottonine for um titans yeah, yeah sometimes just for the attack up where the sap isn't really that useful mm -hmm. 
or at least past early game, sap is just not isn't that useful for titans. But I was thinking of like doing golems be ten, and I'm thinking, well, I heard people talking about how healers slow down your run mm -hmm. runs. So I'm thinking if I have to have a healer, um, I want one that'll help beat the golem. Yeah. And uh, like both of his skills are good for beating the go or for clearing the golem faster because you have the sap, which makes means he can actually do damage mm -hmm. and and be a healer. And then the attack up actually adds a lot of damage to the team. So I think that um, if you're a beginner starting out and you don't have a good passive healer for beat. 10, I think the fire coteen is actually a really good active healer yeah. just yeah. because of um, his skills are so suited for it. And then his stat distribution, like mm -hmm. even though he's only a nat 2, like he had so little go into attack that it's like, and he's got like really high stats for a nat 2. So it's almost like he's nat 3 because they like mid max the stats. Uh, I know this is a level 58, but if you, I looked at the Wood Jubilee, mm -hmm. and she actually heals less because she's um because she doesn't have books, and mm -hmm. like her attack up is two turns, and her sap is only one turn, so he's like actually a better version of a uh, Nat nice. three. And the Jubilee is very similar to the Wood Mini Cat. Mm -hmm. um, and then I used uh, Squirrels as attackers because I wanted something with skills that would be good for beating up the Golem, which would normally mean Sap, but there are like very limited options for, um, for not two. two star. Nat two uh, sappers, and like it was like the one that I remember was Gup, which only had sap on like one of its two skills, and the other one was like useless. And then it was single target, and I wanted AOE to wave clear. Well, he does so I have used... like defense down, which can still speed up the run, and his base yeah, I, is I... pretty high. Yeah, I used Squirrel because I figured, well, if I can't get a good sap, mm -hmm. sappers for killing the boss, I can use defense down to kill the boss faster. Squirrels are actually pretty strong. Like, uh, if you've seen, like, Agent Elite's old videos of, like, doing goals yeah. be, uh, what was, which one was the water one again? Uh, B7. that's seven. Yeah, B7. Um, you can use yeah. like squirrels, and they they actually do a lot of damage. To the yeah. both the golem and the waves. I actually, for the most part, skipped B seven and mm -hmm. B nine. I got my B eight team strong enough it could clear B seven like really slowly. Yeah. So what I would do is like every night, I would set it to auto B seven times yeah. twenty. And then just leave it, cause like, yeah. because then the runtime didn't matter, cause mm -hmm. I was gonna be sleeping that time anyway. Yeah. And then that got me like, I only had one diamond slot planned out on the um, team I was going to use for B10, yeah. and then I only had I think two triangle slots on that team as well. So what I did was that team wasn't very fast either. It wasn't that good of a team, but it was at least stable. Yeah. So what I then, then did was I used it to clear B9 on manual once mm -hmm. and just filled the triangle slots with four star gems uh -huh. and went straight into uh, straight into B10. That's actually pretty smart. This way you can uh, skip a lot of time. Like you don't have to build a whole entire B9 team, you know, just yeah. And you can go straight into yeah, I, I, I still don't think I could clear B9 very effectively. Mostly use a lot of resist. Like if yeah. your team has a shit ton of resist, then 
Should be. Should be. Yeah. Right. I had like no fire monsters when I went to do B9. I, I, I cleared it with LD. <laughs> what if I take a look at your boss? I haven't really uh, taken a look. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I think I can scroll down. Actually, it won't let me. It's weird. Does it, it doesn't let me drag, can... it only lets me click. Rip. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Rip. We're, we're on Team Viewer, so um, we can both like take a look at a. Uh, like I can, yeah. we can both control this game. Yeah. So. So um, if there's any monsters you want to look at. You mind scrolling down for a little bit? Cause I can't scroll right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Scroll down more. Yeah, scroll down. We have two water, water seeds. On, uh, yeah, I, I'm raising a third one because I, I started to do some damage to Titans, mm -hmm. but I like skipped a whole bunch of fests so I could farm story really hard for to get um, siphon gems. I so I haven't done that many fests fests so i'm just uh and i started in birdie rebirth so i've been like completely power leveling since then so in, in my opinion i think it's worth it to like um progress really hard in, in dragons and try to get the siphon gems because then you can get siphon yeah. and your farming team becomes really really fast yeah. and then the more you farm the more um events that you can participate in you know right yeah and i uh I used uh, the used her for on siphon mm -hmm. for farming for a long time. I farmed really, really hard during the um, Rudolph event because mm -hmm. I knew I could like put her on siphon, and I figured that I could yeah. with the fifty percent more outboost. I figured that I could get because um, I was only clearing B seven at that point. Yeah. So. It took me like forever to like I had to catch like 60 some Rudolphs before I got one that was triple square well at least you did get one in the end yeah we have a dark but, siren too yeah she was actually like I got lucky and that was the first L high LD egg I ever hatched had her inside I wish her stats were like less recovery and more HP <laughs> defense. She's got super yeah, OP skills. Yeah, so do I. Her, her stats are kind of lacking. Her stats. Yeah. Yeah. And I need better gems for her. I haven't changed her gems in a long time. And then I, uh, I had her on a broken set. Only instead of this gem here, mm -hmm. which just has some recovery. I had, um, not that one, I had this gem on her, so, because <laughs> it had the 20% defense, and I can tell she's lost some, some tankiness since I switched that. Pugilist pair. <laughs> it, <laughs> It's been working on defense, actually. Yeah, I, I, I can imagine. I can imagine. Pugilist is just like, super OP. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll either ignore it and get stunned, mm -hmm. or they'll focus it, and then there's a good chance it'll hit back with vengeance and yeah. maybe even stun them. Um. All right, do you want to yeah. run like Golem's B10 again with that team? Just to like, kind sure. of end the video? Just show it again. Yeah. Show uh, yeah. different run, different RNG. Show that it's still stable. Yep. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I would agree that it's generally worth it to farm really hard for Siphon uh -huh. in the beginning. So you get really good gems. But, uh, yeah. I feel like a lot of the, the uh, um, monsters, like event monsters, or even just monsters that you can. Ooh, oh, your bat wow. died. Okay, this is. A, this is one this of those failed bad. ones. Uh, hopefully not. 
What, um, well, from your observation, seen, what are the I've, like clear rates for for this team? Uh, um, I hadn't tested it that long. I had done like an auto times twenty run or two mm -hmm. and with uh, no fails. I've also seen it actually beating the go boss with um, light bat down. So I think it might be like like it seems to be here. I yeah. think it might be um you can still I think beat it should be fine because after golem. the first wave your um both your scrolls will have their their bars full. Yeah. And you can just spam AoE with siphon. Yeah. So if you're uh, if you're going to do something like this team um but with say farmable monsters it, that are like nat 3 so you're not uh, restricting yourself to nat 2 mm -hmm. or like try to do something similar but not so you have a good stable starter comp but not be restricted to nat 2 I think water miho could probably replace the uh, squirrels pretty well yeah water miho is really really good yeah, the other thing that can replace the squirrels is the wood froski, mm -hmm. <clears throat> because it has the same skills, but it I believe he only he just has um, like better stats, twenty percent better rates on oh, the active, and a little, um, I think he actually has a little bit less defense, mm -hmm. or not defense, a little bit less attack, but it has. He has like way better HP and defense, and I also, see. I think he might have a better damage increase from the books. Ooh, there we go. So they were actually still able yep. to clear it even after the Kilobat died on the yeah, first one. Yeah, because the the siphon kicked in. And that was yeah, that so run was actually slightly faster as well. Wow. All right. Um, Didn't expect it to be so fast. <laughs> uh, actually, I think it was faster because since they, um, since your your uh, bat died, all the blue souls went to the squirrels, so they were able to get their yeah. AOEs off every single wave. That could so that's be what it. Was, it was uh, pretty fast. Yeah. All right. So. And I'll, I'll... Obviously, if you're doing like a beginner comp, you're probably better off with light Nike than mm -hmm. uh, the bat. <laughs> Even if you have to put her on one slot defense, yeah. or not one slot defense, one slot HP, so yeah. she's tankier. But I do think the fire cut in has like got some re uh, real potential because mm -hmm. both the sap and the attack up if you don't have a good passive healer. All right. Um... Yeah, thanks so much for showing us your your team and uh, coming to this video. Yeah, um, I kind of wanted to show it off. <laughs> I also kind of made it because I wanted to one up Asian Elite because he made like the full that three golems B10 team. I so I'd be like, well, I could one up and then make a full that two yeah. golems B10 team. <laughs> you definitely did. Just for the memes. <laughs> for the beans. <laughs> Alright yeah, then, so. um, that's pretty much it, everyone. Um, yep. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. You want to say goodbye to everybody? Yep, goodbye. Alright, peace out.